Well, I want to put something out here. It's, you know, it's here nor there, but, you know, if Russia was smart with this Crimea deal, uh, and, you know, this just goes to show you that Vladimir Putin is surrounded by a bunch of kiss-ass yes-men to the max, and, you know, this idea wouldn't work now because it's it's a done deal, but, you know, they could have really played it a lot smarter with the Crimea. First off, they basically said in that... Um, you know, referendum, whatever they put out, was either to go back to Russia or to be have the Crimea independent. And already it was kind of semi-independent under the Ukraine, you know. And there, there could have been other conditions. I was talking about this before, but they would have been a lot smarter if they said the Crimea was totally independent. First off, that would have avoided confrontation with the West, you know, over the whole deal. And, but, like, this is the real reason. And, you know, all the politics and stuff aside, you know, it's all about money, corporations, and things like that. You know, Vladimir Putin basically is one of the top guys, or at least the visible top guy that you see with the oligarchy, you know, the big, the gang that runs Russia. And actually, the gang that runs Russia has... Basically, a lot of their corporations are set up in Cyprus. You know, I don't know if people know that or not. I know, I know, Max Kaiser doesn't know it. Mike Rivera doesn't know it. Gerald Salenti doesn't know it because they never mention it. You know, they don't mention anything about any kind of the alleged crooked wrongdoings of what goes on in Russia, right? Or with Vladimir Putin or his wealth or whatever the hell it is. But if they were smart, they would have actually had Crimea go independent. That would have totally diffused the situation with the West. Plus, they would have still controlled it. <laughs> I mean, really, come on. The whole place is all uh, Russian retirees of the military in any way. Um, they could have set it up as a new type of Cyprus or BVI, British Virgin Islands, as a tax haven. It could have been a better tax haven than Cyprus. I know in Cyprus, the tax rate went from... 10% on corporate tax, I think 12 or 12 and a half or something. You know, I'm not, I'm not keeping track of this because I'm not working with it because I really don't care what it is. Now, I'm not working with it now or nothing, but it's like uh, the, you know, the other thing is I think there was no tax on com capital gains on commodities only if, you know, unless it was a um, an asset that was immovable, like you're talking about land or something like that. So if they had trading companies, like, you know, in other words, uh, Putin's alleged Swiss bank oil trading company, alleged, right, is Gunvor, Gunvor, and it's registered, it's a Swiss-based company registered in, Swi in Cyprus. So, you know, the deal is, you know, with the West, that... And it's actually all over. It's really, you know, there's an intramural competition going on here. But the deal is that, you know, oil trade's been rigged for, I don't know, at least a decade. And so any kind of capital gain you get on commodities, if it's a company's registered in Cyprus, I think it's zero. I think, it, well, it's easy if I could look it up, but I mean, it's simple to look up. But uh, the thing is, with... Um, all these types of things where you have set up you set up companies in different uh, states and things like that like Delaware for instance um, has more corporations uh, registered in the state of Delaware than there are people than a population and you know why is that because the state of Delaware basically gives you a lot of legal protection for the corporation itself and actually in Nevada has a lot of um, S, S corporations or S, you know, maybe LLCs, you know, but they're S, they're type, they're type S, subchapter S types, uh, because there's more legal protection to the managing members. And that's why a lot of people use Nevada. So, like, say, for instance, you're in a, another state and you're doing business in another state and you set up a corporation in Nevada, in your state, it would you know to do business in your state, it would be a foreign corporation. You know, and it's an alien corporation if it's outside the country. So if you had a corporation in Belarus or something, 
<laughs> which is basically Russian pretty much, or um, Cyprus or whatever, you know, then if you're you're dealing doing business in the United States, then it would be a um, uh, you know, an alien corporation, they would call it. You know, you'd have to set it up as registered in your state where you're doing business as an alien corporation. Now, actually, you know, I, I alluded to the fact that there's been a lot more registration of corporations in Cyprus as of January 2014. But if they're really smart, if they made um, the Crimea an independent country, it could have been like a financial tax haven for the Russians, like the BVI, you know, they got the beaches there in Crimea, right, it's on the, on the Black Sea, and they could have been running the place anyway, and, uh, but you know, the problem is, actually, you know, Putin didn't think of it, <laughs> I don't know if he would have went for it, but you know, the way I look at it, though, with this guy, it's, I can give you a general, you know, landscape of actually how it is. He is surrounded by a lot of people that try to think what he would like to hear. <laughs> and you know, that's the downfall of people like that. You know, I, I compared I compared Vladimir Putin to Adolf Hitler in some ways. But you know, let me just put it to you this way. See, you totally, totally, totally disagree with that. But, you know, it's almost like you got a person there that is the law of the land. You know, say you don't want to say, you know... You could say he's not Adolf Hitler or whatever, but say he's got the power of Adolf Hitler. The problem is, um, you know, when you got one person doing all the thinking and a lot of people trying to just please that one person it and, and think what they think and trying to agree with them, it stifles like what the real best solution would be. And, you know, that's probably what happened... You know, World War Two. If Adolf Hitler wasn't, um, they were so so afraid of, you know, bringing up something he didn't like, uh, it could have been a totally totally different outcome. But then, lo and behold, maybe if the other officers in the German military and other people in the German military uh, had their true input and decision making as to what happened in the concentration camps, uh, the Holocaust would have been not happened maybe. It might not have happened or it have been much less or something. So I mean that's where you have a consensus works better even though sometimes that doesn't make things go immediately fast. You know like in the United States we have more of a consensus you know even though we say we have Obama or whatever if you like him or not. I don't you know I don't like Obama but you know Obama is not a dictator you know even though the popular um, Alternative media says that he's not as anywhere near as strong, like as a single leader as Vladimir Putin. So basically, you know what goes on with this guy is that uh, he basically, you know, he calls all the shots, and there's a whole bunch of people around him always trying to please this guy, and they they will not say something they think might displease him. And you know, I was thinking about this deal with the Crimea, actually. They would have been really, really slick if they made the Crimea independent. Um, it would have been a tax haven, a financial center for all the oligarchs. It, it could have been more tax advantageous than, uh, you know, Cyprus or BVI or anything like that. And at the same time, it would have improved the economy. It would have been, you know, the, the Russian bases would have still been there. It would have been business as usual. And there would have been no sanctions from the West. But nope, 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 nope. You know, he's got to have that, he, he had that instant confrontational attitude. And uh, he had his, all his go-along people around him, uh, you know, just go along with whatever he thought. And that's where it's bad. That's where it's bad. Now, I mean, now, I mean, it's too late. They can't make the, you know, I mean, the Crimea is part of Russia. You know, it's not going to be independent, you know. But they sure blew a good opportunity there for themselves. And, you know, that's that's really the problem of having a dictator. Because people with other ideas are not going to say things to him that they think might displease him or, or it might be going against what he really wants or whatever. They got no voice. They got no voice. It's almost like, 
you know, maybe it's unfair to call him on Adolf Hitler, but, you know, it's it's kind of like that deal. It's like the guy's got too much power. So he's got a bunch of yes-men around him, and that stifles uh, a lot of things that happen, and it makes him basically in his own, he creates his own reality, more or less, because everybody around him tells him stuff he likes to hear. It's a big ego thing all the way. So, anyway... We got to make sure we don't ever have that problem here in the United States, and uh, I think we're doing a pretty good job of keeping Obama as honest as we possibly can. I mean, you might be mad at me saying that, but you know, there's a hell of a lot of criticism of Obama in this country, and um, that helps to minimize some of the things that could happen. You know, if this, if we were basically as limited as things are in Russia. Yeah, I mean, there's been newspapers that uh, were shut down in Russia because uh, they printed a story that, um, uh, he, you know, Vladimir Putin was dating this Olympic gymnast athlete or something like that, and, you know, and, and they got shut down, or this reporter disappeared here, this reporter disappeared there. You know, in the United States, it's still like, you know, you could take, you know, you could say a lot of stuff about the leaders. We said plenty about, you know, what Harry Reid has been doing recently with the Chinese solar company that's attached, that's trying to build on the Bundy Ranch, right? You know, we're bringing that stuff out. So, uh, you know, we still got a lot more freedoms in the United States. Let's just keep using them, that's what I say. But uh, Russia really, uh, the fact that they got this, this guy as a dictator... Um, they really blew an opportunity there with the Crimea. If the Crimea was independent, uh, if it went independent, it could have been a big financial tax haven, better than Cyprus, closer than Cyprus, more Russian control over what goes on in the Crimea as an independent country, and diffused all the situation with the West and any of the sanctions and any of that stuff, but nope. Nope. The boys all around Vladimir Putin were too busy trying to freaking say, you know, what does he think? What does he want? What does he what 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 should I say to please that he wants to hear? That's what they were doing. 